I'm going to be adding the last wing on this piece here. It's a large wing, but the technique to do it best is with this standard 7 or 8 millimeter and even a luster rod from glass alchemy that I'm using. And the whole trick on doing these wings is to make sure that they're standardized in size. And the easiest way to do that is to guarantee that you have the same amount of volume for each wing. The first wing had six gathers, the second one had eight, and then ten, and then this one has twelve gathers. So I'm going to heat this up, I'm going to flatten that down. And if I do this twelve times, I will end up with the same amount of glass that I had gathered up on the previous wing. my third gather. And by gather on this, it's this little compressed area. Four. And as you get going deeper, it wants to wobble away. Fifth. Your second wing should be a little bit bigger than your first wing, so that if you have to remove something, you're going to remove it from the longer wing, which would be the second one, while it's still hot. Seven, eight, nine, and eleven. This will be the twelfth one, and I'll do one more gather. And I found this works better than attaching a rod and condensing it freehand, or you know, while it's attached to a pungy. And this one went a little off center. There we go. I'm going to go through a larger flame. I'm going to let this melt in. And I'm going to make it into a cone, which is a little wider at the bottom, narrower at the top. But right now I'm melting in all the lines. one set of this here, and this has a curve to it on the bottom. I'm going to work with that, and then it's a little off-center. And then when I flatten it, I want it to be off-center. And that's going to be my attachment. So you got one shot to do it correctly. So do it correctly that first time. We're going to be heating up second stage to second stage. Most of this papery now is going to be done way in the backfire. That's how you do it. 